Hey, hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. This is Praveen here, your host, your mentor, your guide and your teacher guys. So in this video, we'll be specifically talking about 10 important things that you should know being a software engineer, right? Many of you have already known this point. Many of you have not known this point. So definitely do watch this video till the end. I'll be sharing my experience with you all from tier three to Infosys to our product based organizations, what are the mistakes I have done and what are the mistakes you can avoid by watching this video. So if you are liking my Josh, liking my power, liking my energy, definitely like the video. And if you are new to the channel, subscribe to the video and uh, share it with your friends and hit the bell icon so that you get the notifications of all the important videos which I'll be releasing. So without further ado, let's get started. So point number one guys, never say no to any task. So this is very, very much important. That's why I have kept in the point one because in my case, I was a pure Java engineer. Then I was completely converted into a DevOps engineer and then again a Java engineer. So at the second point of transition between the DevOps to the Java engineering, I was literally scared and I went to my manager and asked, please don't give me Java role now. I will be continuously going ahead with my DevOps role. But what, what my manager told is Praveen do this task now and you will see the good fullness of these tasks in the coming future. And I'm definitely very happy and I would definitely say thanks to my manager that because of him I am able to understand write the Java code till now. So never say no to any task. Point number two guys, no one cares about your mental peace, mental health. It's all about you. You have to take care of your body, power and your energy, whatever you are doing. Right? Definitely take care of your mental and physical health. Have some exercise daily routine as part of your daily schedule. So why I'm telling this many of the IT engineers just sit at home doing the work from morning to evening and never concentrate on drinking water, never concentrate on having good physical fitness, never concentrate on having at least some time going outside and blissful walk. So point number two, definitely maintain your health and good state in order to get good deeds in the future. So whatever we are talking in this video, it's all about your future investment, which you are doing right now. If you are agreeing with me, definitely comment down below that. Okay. Yes, Praveen, you have told correct, right? So point number three, guys, communicate via emails whenever you are doing a task in your project. So why this is important means when you send the email, everyone will come to know that, okay, you have done some potential task. And at the same time, you can put the email screenshot or whatever the task you have done, which you feel that, okay, you have achieved something. You can definitely put your, uh, that into your year end goals as a screenshot, which is very helpful to you all. Definitely that will be an helpful advantage whenever you are doing a task outside your potential or whenever you are, you are doing daily day to day tasks that also put as an email so that your manager and your lead and your team knows that you are a potential candidate for promotion for pay hike. Definitely follow these things. Point number four, very important point. Whenever you are in frustration, don't send emails and don't talk to anyone in the team because what it does is whenever your mind is not in your control, you will be typing something and sending out something or talking with someone else in a wrong way, which can lead to your team bonding a greater disaster. So definitely don't do that whenever you are intense. Just inhale and exhale deeply, which can relax you. All of you know this points I know, but yeah, definitely follow this. Follow from tomorrow, maybe some change is definitely there in your lifestyle. Point number five and very, very important point. So what you need to consider is never ever tell your salary to your teammates. Why I am telling this when you tell the salary to your teammates, right? Let's consider you have joined your organization recently. Sometimes what happens is because of your capabilities, you would have given some good package than your teammate who has joined two years back, right? Every year to year, if you see the market trend, the package is increasing. So definitely never ever share your package details with your teammate because it will create a small noise, which actually your manager don't want that to happen. So definitely have the trust, have the love and affection between your teammates 
बट नेवर शेयर योर सैलरी डिटेल्स विथ एनी वन पॉइंट नंबर सिक्स नेवर डिस्कस पॉजिटिव और नेगेटिव बिटवीन द टीम मेंबर्स गाइज ओके वाई आई एम टेलिंग लेट्स थिंक यू हैव a good team rapport with everyone now everyone will come to you and share their whatever the bad or the good with you and meanwhile when you talk with them they will say like okay this person is not doing good or this person is not doing is extremely doing good or this person is not capable of doing something at that point of time you should just listen but don't pass those comments to the next level hierarchy at the same time don't indulge in such kind of practices where you talk some bad things about the teammates because ultimately team is the bond to us which will take us to the next heights so you all are agreeing with me i know that definitely comment down if i am not going to share any of the good points maybe after the 10th point you will think like okay pravin i also know a one point then definitely comment down in the comment section so point number 7 if you work hard very important a double star or a five star for this if you work hard and don't get recognized and others who work and get the recognition don't worry about that don't think like okay mujhe manager ne nahi diya ab kya karna hai what will happen if i am not getting a promotion no if you have done the good work if you think from your heart yes i am the positive person i am the strongest person in the team i should have got this opportunity now and you have not got that never get discouraged because this hard work will definitely lead you a future good deeds right so i hope you are agreeing with me definitely i am telling whatever i am telling these all things will help you in your future to grow as a best software engineer as a best manager as a best potential candidate and someone will always invest on you so point number 8 don't stay in single company guys many of you are doing that mistake but yeah here there are two points to remember if you are staying in the same company and if you are getting an on site opportunity definitely go that grab that opportunity happily share your videos photos with your friends and motivate them also how outside world looks like but in the case too if you are staying in the same organization you are you are not getting any benefits from the organization if your team is not supporting you definitely i would suggest it's a high time for you to shift your career from this point to the next point where you can stand on your feet and you can also help your parents by getting them some of the good financial stability so i hope you all support this and uh, don't settle for less any time i would say to my community to my subscribers kam mein kabhi nahi settle karna hai if you have the potential if you have the ability if you have the confidence to crack the company to aapko definitely best package pe hi settle karna hai point number 9 be bold and confident whenever you are sitting in front of the interviewer yes you are the confident person you have the josh you have the motivation you have the ability to crack the organization tell the interviewer that hey take me in i will be doing every task whatever you assign to me and that josh that motivation that confidence will definitely help you to crack your dream job now point number 10 very much important with 9 plus minutes i have talked with you all point number 10 never afraid of failure guys so why i am telling this is i was kicked out from a project but i never stopped there immediately the next day i prepared my resume and uploaded in the portal and i got the, in the same company the other project right so i hope with this point you are able to know me that how the struggles i have faced have converted me to help you all with that struggle only i am here helping you all shooting this video at that this particular time and telling you some important tips and important helpful boot camp sessions also and always think in positive way and uh, make sure you are learning all the days if you are new to the it field definitely learn good things if you are an undergrad definitely learn some coding learn some devops build your community establish your community and grow in your career step by step if you have liked the video hit the like button subscribe to the channel share with your friends follow me on instagram and linkedin where i'm actively sharing all the devops and cloud content and uh, definitely you guys are awesome keep showing the love keep support me 
hit the bell icon so that the next video when I'm launching, you get the information for that. Apart from this 10 points, if you think, yes, Praveen, there is another point also, comment down below and we'll be talking in the comments, right? Until then, take care, stay safe, stay happy, motivate others and keep learning and moving ahead. This is Praveen Singhampalli signing off from today's video. Until then, bye. Meet you in the next video.